Jack and Joe leave their homes at exactly the same time and drive towards each other. Jack drives at 60 miles per hour while Joe drives at 30 miles per hour. They pass each other in 10 minutes. How far apart were Jack and Joe when they started? It was another baffling case. But then again, you don't hire a private eye for the easy ones. Yeah, that's me. Tracer Bullet. Or people call me as something else again. I'm a private eye. The last thing I wanted this morning was a case to solve. But the dame who brought it was persuasive. Most dames are, somehow. Two saps, Jack and Joe, drive toward each other at 60 and 30. After 10 minutes, they pass. I stepped out into the rainy streets and reviewed the facts. There weren't many. Questions pour down like the rain. Who are these mugs? What were they trying to accomplish? Why was Jack in such a hurry? And what difference does it make where they started from? I had a hunch that before this was over, I'd be sorry I asked. I'm supposed to find out how far apart they were when they started. First, I figured I'd try the Durkin's dame. Susie and I never hit it off, although occasionally we hit each other. I needed information. Maybe she's got something on Jack and Joe. The question is, will she sing? Psst, Susie. No, do your own work. The Durkin's dame wasn't talking. Someone had gotten to her first and shut her up good. I knew Susie, and closing her mouth would have taken some work. When I came back to the office, the pieces all fitted together. Jack and Joe's lives were defined by integers. Obviously, they were part of a numbers racket. The answer hit me like a 44 slug. It had to be the number they called Mr. Billion. Case closed. What did you get, Colvin? I think the answer's 50.